Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use PowerShell script to disable a comp all computer objects in a specific organization unit. So let's say I have um you have several computers that just only have two devices here in this organization unit. So let's say we have different computers here in this organization unit, and you want to actually disable all the computers in this organization unit probably maybe you moved you've moved some devices to that unit because they are no more in use so first of all if i go to the properties of this organization unit and i go to attribute here you can see the distinguished name which of course this is actually the reference to where this object uh located you can see they are actually in my kelvglobal.com and the is Kev Global. we can see with under the computers organization unit and then we have the organization unit laptop you can see we have just Kelv Global computers and here is the Kelv Global you can see we have Kelv Global computers and we have our laptops so if I go to PowerShell I have the following script in PowerShell you can see we're going to use the get a day computer so we're going to filter on all the objects in that organization unit so our search base is going to actually be just like what i showed you before you can see it's going to be our this our domain and here we have our um, the curve global and then the computer computers and then we have our laptops and then we're going to we're going to do the following we're going to actually disable the ade account so if i run the script right now you can see at this moment let me just do a refresh you can see that they are all in the all the devices are enabled so if i just run the script you can see it's telling me that we have just two devices and let me do a refresh again you can see that now the devices have been disabled but you can, we can also enable this all these devices in this organization unit by actually doing the following just change this disable if i change the disable to enable and then let me clear my screen and then i run the script again you can see if i do a refresh here we go, you can see that all my devices have just been enabled again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave the, leave the script in the description of this video. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. Bye.